Uh, so my name is Stuart Payne and I'm uh, Artistic Director of Block Collective, uh, which is a local arts organisation um, that gets involved in lots of different things. Um, and we were commissioned uh, in uh, late last year to draw pictures on the Cowgate underpass. Um, uh, so we, we were selected, uh, our bid was selected, uh, we partnered with a design company, Paper Rhino, an ethical design company. Um, and uh, from there we have been running a series of consultations and doing lots of research and finding lots of interesting stories about the city and then drawing them. So it, it is a kind of entrance and a welcome to the city. So in, in the original brief they were asking for things that reflected the city that was kind of showing um, you know, what kind of uh, heritage we have here and what our, you know, our famous landmarks might be, you know, the sort of cathedral. Um, which is, you know, absolutely great for visitors to be able to have a, a kind of some visual information when they get here and they arrive about what the city is kind of about and what's available, what's here for them to see. Um, but it's also it's quite a traditional. Uh, it's, it's kind of like the go-to thing, isn't it? It's like you know, oh, let's draw a picture of the, the cathedral. And this. So what we did was say, you know, yeah, we can do that, but we can do it in a we can include all that stuff, but we can include it in a much more visually interesting way. Um, and our, our proposal was focused on um, bringing those kind of landmarks and characters to life, combining them with um, some of the weirder and odder stories that you might find in the city, um, and also some stuff that we might make up, or things that might not be true, but you know what, we're going to include them anyway, because we're just going to mix it all up and create this kind of... Um, melting pot mm -hmm. of, of all the, the heritage and, and the culture here, uh, which should make for some interesting. So this is um, an exhibition that is displaying uh, a lot of the workings mm -hmm. of how we've got to the point that we are in the design. So most of the stuff you're seeing here will be going onto the walls. Um, we haven't shown you the wall map, we do have a wall map of exactly where it's going and how it's all going to fit together. Mm -hmm. We purposefully haven't put that in here um, because we'd like, we'd like people to come in and leave some comments and, uh, and about things because we might change our minds based on the um, feedback that we get from the public at this point. Um, but it's, as you can see, um, each, each um, frame has uh, a, a character or theme or a section of the wall that we're going to be working on. And you can see the various sketches, the various um, stages that the designs have kind of gone through to get to the final mm -hmm. point. Um, so this part of the exhibition is actually a two-part exhibition. So this part is uh, on for another week until the 16th. Um, and then we're going to be changing it over. It's going to run for another week mm -hmm. uh, until the 3rd. Um, and that exhibition that's going on for a week is uh, will be new works mm -hmm. that are based on stuff that we the research that we've done uh, during the design process. So there'll be stuff that either either didn't make it to the wall that we've worked up into a you know a digital uh, print, or it will be something that we've done just as a, it was an idea, it was appropriate for the wall. We've just done it as a canvas, mm -hmm. or it'll be something else, so something new and exciting and there'll be reasons why they didn't make it to the wall.